Take a look over there, would you? We are on a different part of Chickamauga today. Hope I'm not still zoomed in a little. We are upriver, a place I don't normally fish. We're kind of scouting around. The uh, I'm not in, in the Costa tournament yet. I'm fourth on the waiting list now. So if any of y'all want to fish as a co-angler, call, pay, give them my name and link with me. If not, hopefully I'll get in anyways. Hunter's with me today. Gonna be a fun day. Hopefully she'll catch us a big one. This up here is like my style. This is where all the not very many big ones live. This is my style of fishing. This would be a good place for me to come in the coaster because I can really, you know, grind my way all the time. And let's face it, my spots down the lake are shot. They're not biting there anymore. All the fish there are little. All the videos of us catching big ones were from like a few days ago and it has changed since then. So we're up here scrambling, trying to figure something out for that coaster. Let me know what's one thing you always want to do before you blast off, before you put in. One thing you always want to do. Mm. I do know what? You need to look for somewhere to put your boat because I can't see nowhere. Can't see nowhere. I'll tell you the one thing you need to do. See that? Out. You need to turn this to in. That's the drain plug, Hunter. That's the drain plug. Don't feel like sinking. Dude. That's like a 10 pound. That's one of the Chickamauga Giants. Just dead. That sucks. He's for real. He's like a 10 pounder. Big and like huge. That's a 10 pounder. The one I lost was not 10 because the one I lost was not that big. The one I lost is probably nine. So it's a freaking giant. All right, so y'all didn't get to see that, but got my GoPro at home. Caught me a nice one though. Eating that old thing right there today. They ate it pretty good yesterday too. Pretty fish. Just fat as can be. Looks like a little female. A little three pound female. Two and three quarter, three pound female. Nice little fish. Check it out. I got it beaming and gleaming. I do a wash it today. Put a little wax on it. Even wash the old truck up. We got that coaster coming up pretty soon, so we are getting everything ready. I just washed it, pulled back in the driveway and got mud on the tire. That's unavoidable in this driveway, but I'm excited next week. I have not got into the coast yet, but I do think I'm going to. It's going to be fun. Hopefully I can catch them. Hopefully, I mean, as the fish have moved, I'm not catching them like I was, but hopefully I can figure them out. They're moving shallow fast. They're getting in these creeks, getting in these pockets, so I'm going to have to get in there and find some high percentage areas in there. They're leaving that main river current daily. I mean, I can tell. I'm catching smaller and smaller. I was catching bigger fish, now I'm catching smaller fish and less. They're getting out of that current, they're moving shallow, so I've got to figure out what's going on. We're gonna go tomorrow, we're gonna go like four days in a row, so y'all stay tuned, I'll keep you updated on how practice goes. So check this out. This is what mounts to this and holds your transducer on your trolling motor. This transducer is not on my trolling motor now because this is in three pieces. That is not ideal. We gotta go try to find one of those today. It's gonna be difficult already. Had me to find a spare tire that'll fit the boat. Nothing. So, I'm getting some stuff done today though, cause I'm gonna be hitting the lake hard for the next few days. All right, what's going on? We are driving to Lake Chickamauga again. We have the Costa coming up Thursday. It is now Sunday. Just watching Iconelli put on a clinic at the Classic. Don't think he's gonna be able to pull it out though. I think, uh, oh, local boy. Jacob Wheeler lives like 20 minutes from me. He's probably going to pull it out. I think he's probably going to win. He's got too many good deals going. But anyways, on the way to the lake, hopefully we catch us some today. This will probably be the last day that I really try to catch any. After this, the next three days, I'll probably be doing a lot of shaking off, a lot of graphing, a lot of idling and looking. Just get a few bites. Um, so yeah, enjoy this last day of us catching some biggins out of Lake Chickamauga. Going to throw a big swim bait around a lot today. So... We'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, as you can see, we're on the lake now. Let me turn face the sun. Basically what I'm trying to do is target a flat out here with a ditch running through it. There's two boats sitting right in the mouth of the ditch, which is pretty typical for this lake. So we're gonna move on down, try to find me something a little off the wall. That's a real common spot anyway. So I'm gonna try to find something a little more hidden than that. So that's what we're trying to do today. Oh, 
Mami, don't be. Look at this dude right here. Uh, gone. Man. Dead on where he was supposed to be, too. Like a three pounder. But I mean, God almighty. Check that out. That was fun. All right, people, I've been out here for a long time today, like five hours. I've caught one fish. It's been terrible. All my fish are gone. So I really got to find something before Thursday because all my fish are actually gone now. That is unfortunate. I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I find me a little school of them somewhere doing something. It's the only choice we got at this point. We will keep grinding, though. We'll figure it out. That. Nice little fish. Not bad, not bad at all. My old big swim bait. Everything's packed up, loaded up. Today was a bust. Didn't catch them at all. I did eliminate an entire weight of fish that was in the back of my mind. I'm for sure not fishing that way. I'm gonna run my style, my pattern. I can catch some doing that. We're gonna run it from one end of the lake to the other. We got like 30 miles to do it. So that's what we're gonna do for the tournament. Let's go find some high percentage areas the next three days. Ooh. 